If you've ever tried to create stitching in Photoshop, it can be a little bit difficult to do. And uh, it's a little bit complicated to make a brush that will uh, create a stitching effect, unlike in Illustrator where it's incredibly simple. So um, I'm going to show you a method that I think works really well. So here I have drawn a uh, straight stitch. Um, and the idea being that uh, this will be the thread portion of my stitch, and this is the hole where the stitch goes in. And in order for this to work, I'm going to need multiple layers in my stitch. Basically, I'm going to have to stroke a path three times. Once for the alpha of the uh, actual stitches, once for the highlights on the stitches, and once for the uh, hole underneath. Um, th that's not that laborious to do once everything is set up, but the setup process is a little bit tricky. So here we've got um, three layers. I've got the stitch layer, I've got a uh, alpha layer, just for the stitches themselves, and I've got the hole layer, and that's all transparent, and it's sitting on top of a white background. It's not a pure white background though, and this is an important part of the trick. Uh, when we're creating this brush, we want to make sure that the width is the same as the height of the brush. However, Photoshop chooses the size of the brush not based on the size of the selection that we use when we're making it, but based on the size of the uh, content of the brush itself. So what I've actually done here, let me see if I can find it. Nope. What I've actually done here, if you look really closely, right there, there's a very slightly gray pixel at the bottom right corner of this uh, canvas. I've put another very slightly gray pixel at the top left. This is like 99% white. It's almost completely white. But it's just something there that I can use to help me align these brushes so that when I make these three brushes and we stroke a path three times, they all line up exactly the same. So let's go ahead and make a couple of brushes and see how this works. I'm going to select both of these layers, um, hit Control E or um, go to merge visible. There we go. And I've got a layer here so I can go to image, no sorry, uh, edit, define brush preset. We could call this um, straight stitch hole. Um, undo that. And we'll do merge visible again with uh, these guys. And edit. Define brush preset, straight stitch alpha, undo, and merge these guys. Alright, so now we have three brushes that we've created, and we need to make sure that they line up. So let's go ahead and create a new document. This one's going to be, let's say, a 1K document. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look in my brushes. I'm going to activate my brush tool and look in my brushes, and toward the bottom, we've got a few new ones. We've got the, uh, well, the three we just created. And they're all 354 pixels wide, and they're all spaced funny. So uh, let's go ahead and choose the brush um, tip shape options. And under spacing, we want to go ahead and, oops, I've got my pencil tool selected. I need the brush tool. All right, so let's go back. Choose this guy. OK, so we need to set our spacing to exactly 98%. I find 98% works really well. And that way, these will all be uh, in a row. And if you hadn't done the gray pixels at the corners of the screen when you made the brush, then this wouldn't work as well. That's why we do it. Um, and now I'm going to set this to maybe, let's say it's a uh, you know, 20, 25 pixel brush, let's call it. Looks good. And um, let's set to 100%. There we go. And we want to set the flow to 100%. Uh, go to tip shape dynamics, make sure that size jitter is off. And under Angle, we make sure that con Control is set to Direction. And um, that should be uh, all we need. So then we go to our Tool Presets up here. Um, you go to a Window, Tool Presets. And I'm going to create a new one. And we'll call this one 
straight stitch, holes. There we go. Now I'm going to create uh, another brush. This time I'm going to select the alpha, go to the brush tip shape, set the spacing to 98%, exactly the same as before, and turn on shape dynamics, control direction, and set the size to 25 pixels, exactly the same. Uh, flow is all the same. That works about right. So then we'll say straight, uh, straight stitch alpha. And lastly, you guessed it, we'll do exactly the same thing. 98%, shape dynamics, make sure flow is on, looks good. Oh, one more thing, got to change the size, 25 pixels. There we have our little row of hot dogs, looks good. And we'll make a new tool preset, straight stitch. Stitches. Now we have three new brush tools that we can work with. We can draw the alpha, we can draw the holes, and we can draw the stitches, and we can do them all separately. So the beauty of this is that now we can create a path. So I'm going to draw a path using the pen tool. Okay. And I'm going to activate my brush tool, choose my straight stitch alpha and make a new layer and then go to paths and I'm going to say stroke path with the brush tool and there we end up with our stitches, our stitch alphas make another new layer we'll call this one alpha we can call this one holes so we'll select our straight stitch holes nice and lastly we need the stitches we'll call this one stitches stroke path there we have our stitches now I apple click or control click on the alpha mask and I can use that uh, actually I'll just go ahead and put it underneath here show it Duplicate, oh, not, not delete it, duplicate it. And I'm going to hide the duplicate. And then uh, on the alpha, I'm going to go ahead and lock the, the, the opacity and flood it with white. So now the alpha underneath is white. We've got the stitches above it and the holes underneath. Now we have some nice uh, transparent stitches so we can change the background to any color we like. Since I'm using this as a bump map in Moto, I'm going to set to a 50% background, and there we go. Now we have some pretty good stitches, and we've got a little bit of mismatch there on some of the stitches, but in the bump map you won't be able to tell. If you wanted to make that better, you could either work at a higher resolution or set the uh, spacing to maybe 97%, a little bit closer, so that those would bump up. And um, I saved this extra alpha up here so that I can use that to separate out. In Moto, I want to separate the, the uh, stitches as a different material so I can change them and make them like a different color. So in this case, uh, I might go ahead and select this layer, fill it with uh, maybe an orange color. Oh, this is a grayscale document. Don't flatten. Okay, there we go. Then I can set that to multiply and you'd see basically what I'm going for here. The alpha is just to help separate out that area of the map so that when we bring this into Moto, uh, we can separate out the stitches and make them a different color. Okay, so that's the basic idea. And I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, except using a zig stitch pattern so that we'll have both sets of uh, tools, a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. And um, I'm going to provide those on the same post on my blog where I, where I post this video. Have fun.